Hi everyone. On the forum, there was a question how to automate the processing of QR codes. So the idea is that when you open the app and scan the QR code with a QR scanner, uh, the uh, information from the QR code is processed instantly rather than by pressing a button or like opening a new screen. So as this question for me turned out to be quite an interesting one, I decided to make a sample app and uh, share it with you. So this is a screen capture from my phone. I'm scanning the code of the animal uh, and you see that in the QR code it was a lion. So I rescan the same code, number of counters increased by one. Uh, now uh, I'm going to scan the different one. I entered uh, at the, my computer, I entered a different uh, word uh, for QR code generator. And now I am scanning it and uh, well, it was not recognized. So here I've entered the correct word, I think it was alligator. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, number of scan has increased. And once again, scanning the same code, number of scans are, uh, are increased. So let me explain the logic of this app, uh, including the database and the logic of the scanner. So uh, to start with, I have uh, sample data. This is uh, where I store all, all the information about uh, the data like you see tiger, lion, alligator and stuff. And this is um, the scan counter, how much time the QR code with this name, with this exact name was scanned. Uh, also, I have uh, in the user's database uh, two important properties, QR just scanned and QR scan ready. These are two true false properties. I will explain how to set them up later. And I have TMP QR result and QR result 2 as a temporary uh, uh, property in user's database to store the uh, code itself because I need to store it somewhere. So uh, here's the code scan screen uh, and uh, I will explain the logic for the QR code scanner here. I have created a specific document. So before going to this screen, I set the QR scan ready to true. So uh, I have a, a scanner visibility group and this is sometimes visible and it's visible only when QR scan, uh, scan ready is true. Why did, that, did I set it this way? Uh, in order to uh, rescan the code second time, uh, I need to somehow reset the scanner. If I just keep the uh, QR scanner component on the screen, it will not scan the second code. I tested it and it doesn't work. So in order to reset the scanner, I have this scan ready um, property and I set it to true to show the scanner and to false to hide the scanner. So the next uh, thing I am setting is before going to the screen, I'm setting the QR just scan uh, to false. And QR just scan, uh, uh, it works with timer. So after I scan the code, I want to update the counter. So actually what I'm doing here, I'm having a list of sample data. I filter the list of sample data by the result of the scanner. So the scanner updates the uh, result with the, uh, like you see the uh, action when QR code is scanned is uh, TMP QR result. I get the set the data there. And uh, then uh, I filter uh, the list by this sample data. And this just scanned property, it uh, operates the timer. So when uh, this just scanned property is true, the timer is visible. So the next step, uh, I'm going to the Q quick QR scan screen. Then when I scan the code, I set the QR scan ready to false and just scanned to true and update the uh, QR result. So here is this logic, which I already uh, showed you. So this is QR result, the data, which I get from the QR code uh, and just scanned to true and scan ready to false. So after uh, this set set to false, the uh, whole scanner group disappears. Uh, and after this uh, scanner, uh, as, as soon as we have some feasible result in the scanner, one of the uh, sample data, this list entry will appear and this list uh, entry will appear along with the timer. So 
the timer will be visible when just scanned is true. So uh, this is, again, the QR scanner visibility group disappears. I have the result filtered by the, uh, by the result. And then countdown timer starts to count down. And upon finishing the countdown, I have an action of updating sample data. So I increase the number of scans by one. And then I update logged in user and set uh, just scanned to false. So the iteration is completed. And in order to uh, rescan uh, the second code, uh, I have the rescan button, button here, which updates the user and setting uh, to QR scan ready to true. And again, this group appears. You can scan the code, which you have seen already in the video demo. So uh, in order to test it without building the uh, application itself, mm, I have uh, implemented the uh, input field here. So uh, I have, no, I'm not resetting probably uh, the, uh, so you see line. Okay, it's number of scan, 11th. Rescan, alligator, set result. Number of scans, six. Uh, it was elephant, I think. Set result. Number of scans, one. So with this, uh, the only thing which uh, app user of the app needs to do is just to have a scan open the scanner scan the code and in order to uh, scan the next one press the rescan button uh, hope this was useful thank you and see you soon